Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. Today, we're taking a look at, from uh, Wave 3 of Combiner Wars, this is, I think, our final figure to look at, Warpath. Now, right off the bat, Sharp Eyes should be able to tell that Warpath is just a uh, repaint um, with a new head of the Wave 1 Legends Target Master Megatron. Kind of an odd choice. I mean, yes, they were tanks, and, and in vehicle mode it looks very nice. Um, but as you'll see in robot mode, um, it's the aesthetic is much more Megatron than it is Warpath. But, you know, much like Megatron, you know, the tank rolls, you can rotate the turret, move the arm up and down to... to uh, raise the cannon, which is kind of nice, because uh, not the uh, leader class Megatron doesn't even have that extra bit of movement. They still have the front spikes there, so if you have that Legends uh, Micromaster Target Master Chop Shop, you can plug it on. I don't think the reds and oranges will match exactly, but, you know, it is a cool look. So, that's it for vehicle mode. Let's get on to robot mode. Transformation is fairly simple, so we'll just go through it. I mean, it's the same thing as Megatron. What you want to do is go ahead and split the rear right there and bring this down and out. Go ahead and swivel this part out just so your hands have some space to work with. Go ahead, flip that little gray section out. That'll be the foot. And then what you can go ahead and do is just fold up these uh, double tabs and, you know, you just, just like so. And it will uh, just tab into place there so. There's the leg. You want to go ahead and do this again, and it'll just fold up and tab into place quite nicely. And then for the arms, you just want to go ahead and split them. Um, basically, they peg due to that little uh, post on the side of the cannon, and I'll just fit into the hand. And go ahead and just want to flip these out all the way. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky part, because the chest here is on a spring. And that's actually how the turret rotates and stuff like that. So what I suggest is pressing it down with your thumb as you peg one arm in, and then rotating it at the elbow to bring the fist forward. That'll help you secure things and make it a little bit easier for uh, all of you. Now, you can go ahead and rotate the turret here out to the side to make the arm gun, or you can leave it up. That's how it's sometimes shown and what have you. It's... You know, it's on a ball joint, so you can even rotate it out of the way if you don't want it in use. I, that's how it is. But this is the figure in robot mode. And like I said, uh, aesthetic-wise, in robot mode, it's a lot more Megatron than Warpath. You do, ha do namely, because of that uh, arm cannon there, um, normally with Warpath, the barrel of the turret is here in the chest, but obviously they couldn't remold the part like that to make it work, which is a little disappointing. Also, maybe it's just me, but I feel the head's a little undersized. I mean, let's come in and take a look here. I mean, it is a very nice warpathy head. Um, but like I said, it's very small, a little undersized. Uh, and I, and I, I just think for the body, it could have been a little bit bigger. I understand they have a certain amount of space they have to work with, but uh, maybe something could have been done. Um, articulation, it's all ball joints, ball joint shoulders, ball joint elbows, ball joint hips, and just, you know, a hinge here at the knee, but it's a very nice deep knee bend. The head can swivel, but due to its size, you really have a hard time getting a grip um, to power it around. Other than that, I mean, there's really... And not much more to say about this figure. You know, it's funny, um, but since the onset of the classic universe generations subline, um, this is the third Warpath. First, we had that great H tank uh, original Legends uh, figure, which is now be considered Legion class. And then we got that great generations figure that some people had a hard time finding, but then eventually showed up, and, you know, I, I was never really sure how exactly that worked out, but, again, it was that H-Tank design 
here we finally get a warpath that's closer to the classic um, warpath look, but the robo robot mode just isn't there. Um, hopefully, some point down the line, I don't think in any time real soon, we can get a nice deluxe class warpath as its traditional tank mode with the um, turret as the chest with the barrel. And, you know, it looks much closer to the cartoon than any of the previous incarnations. This is your old pal Chuck for Warpath. We'll see you next time.